In this video, I just want to take you through the tic-tac-toe logic puzzle um, feature of the puzzle generator. So once you're in PowerPoint, what you first want to do is choose a trim size. So for this example, I'm going to use 8.5 by 11. And then if you select puzzles, and then go along to tic-tac-toe logic, now the first screen you'll see is a game explanation or how to. This is a, just a brief description of how to play the puzzle or how to, you know, to do the puzzle. You can edit this if you want. If you want to include it, just tick this box here. If you don't, untick it and then click continue. Now on this uh, next screen, You'll have the choice initially to choose a color for the header. Now, if you're creating um, for KDP, it's likely you want to just leave that on black. And the other two options here you have are to set the X's and the O's colors. Now, obviously, if you're creating for KDP, it's likely that you either want to do these all in black or maybe one in black and the other one in a grey like this. Our next option is to set the font for the header. Now you can choose obviously all the ones in your office or from the export tool and you can select bold or italic and you can also select the size. Now this header will just go above every single puzzle that you generate. Now our first option here is the title now this as i said above um, just just now is this is what will appear above each puzzle so at the moment it's tic tac logic you might just want to call it puzzle or leave it blank it's completely up to you our next option here is to start the numbering app now for most instances you'll just want to have this as one our next option here is to set the page number. This is how many pages worth of puzzles you want to create. For this example, I'm just going to leave it on five. Our next option here is to choose the dimension of the grids or the puzzles that we generate. Now, the obviously, the uh, larger the grid, the more difficult or challenging the puzzle may be. Uh, just for now, I'll leave it on six by six. Our next option here is to choose how many grids per page you want. You can choose one, two, four, or six. And our final um, option, just before the last one here, is the format. Now, this basically is you can change it to one and zeros, which is a game called uh, Binario, which you can, um, if you do one and zeros, it's just another variant of tic-tac-toe logic uh, that you might like to use instead. And obviously if you do change to one and zeros, change the grid title uh, from tic-tac logic. Now the final little option here is to add the left and right margins. Again, if you're creating for KTP, it's likely you want to tick this, include this. And then in this box here, you can set a margin up to one inch on each side. So now we've done our settings here. Let's click OK and create our puzzles. There we go, now as you can see, we have our puzzles, then followed by our solutions at the end. Now what you do have the option to do is to adjust all the shapes in one go here. If you're not happy with their placement or the sizing or anything like that, I'll quickly show you how you can move them. So just select the ones you want to move, for example, and here, I'm going to set a distance, so let's do 0.3. I'm going to move them down. 
and then these ones I'm going to do 0.3 upwards. Now this applies across all of your puzzles, all of your grids in one go, so you don't need to make the changes on any other page, just one page and it will apply to every single page. Now another option you may like to do is say you see your title and you think, okay, that's a little bit too small. What you can do again if you just select them, select the titles, and then change individual fonts. And then say I'm going to put that up to 24. Click OK. And now we have larger titles. Now what I need to do now, just because it goes under the grid a little bit, if I move that up 0.1. There we go. Now I've shown you that option. What I'm going to do is show you a few more um, advanced things you can do. So if we just delete those puzzles, add a blank new slide. Again, if you have any placeholders like this, you'll need to delete them before running the puzzle. Go back into puzzles. And then we go back into Tic Tac Logic, continue. Now here you have the option to hide titles. Now, where that comes in useful is, as you see here, we are limited to the amount of the amount of grids we can have per page. Particularly if we go to larger ones, we can only fit one or two per page. So what we can do if we click cancel here and we change our trim size to a square one. So I go 85 by 85. We go back in to the Tic Tac Logic, continue. Now what we can do is we'll choose um, whatever grid dimension we want. So I'm just gonna go for the largest here, one per page. And I'm gonna do, um, let's do 20 pages. And then we're going to hide the titles on these. And then we're going to remove the option um, to have a margin. Now, the reason you may like to create your puzzles like this is because of the bulk export and import tools. Now, what this allows you to do, this gives you the option to export all of these slides as a image file and then import them again. Now, when you import them again as an image, you'll have the option to go up to 20 images per slide, which is obviously, it means you can have up to 20 puzzles per slide and up to 20 solutions per, per slide, which gives you, you know, a lot more flexibility than the default settings in the tool does. So if we just wait for this to um, finish creating, and I'll show you. Now our puzzles are created. We're just going to go up here to export slides as PNG. Now what I'm going to do is initially do the first 20. And I'm going to keep the default um, quality resolution. Let's enter a name. Let's do puzzle. And then in this little pause here is because it's looping through every um, table that I selected and making it transparent. And then when this comes up, click OK. Let me create a new folder. Let's call it 10s. And then here I'm going to create a folder and call it puzzles. Click OK. I'm going to export them and then I'm going to go back to export again and this time start from 21 
resolutions, keep the quality the same. Wait for it to move through again. Click OK. And then back in my folder again, create a folder. I call it solutions. And then OK on that. OK, now I've done that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all these slides, create a new uh, blank slide, and then I'm going to choose the trim size the book I'm creating, so 8.5 by 11 for example, and then I'm going to go to bulk import images, and then first I'm going to go into puzzles, so I'm in the uh, 10s or the 10s folder, I'm going to go into puzzles, click OK. Now here I have the option to choose how many images per slide I want to import. So as you, if you remember, Initially, on this size puzzle, I only had the option to do one or two per page. Here, I can go all the way up to 20. So for this example, I'm just going to do four per page. I'm going to add a title, just a quick puzzle. And here, you can set minimum margins and space between images. If you want to sort of uh, try to optimize the spacing and keep, keep everything tightly together, just tick this box here, attempt to optimize spacing, and then we're going to click OK. As you can see, we've got our four puzzles per page here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the bulk import images. This time select the solution folder, click OK. And this time I'm going to have all 20 on one page. Now that will be teeny, but just to show you, title, solution, again, optimize spacing, click OK. And there we have it. We have the four puzzles per page, and then we have the 20 solutions per page. Now this really allows you to have a lot more flexibility over um, your puzzles and how you create them. So I hope this quick video gives you the, the knowledge and the tools you need to start creating your Tic Tac Logic puzzles. Thanks for watching.